What's up guys? We are live. How is everybody doing? Just making sure my phone is on Do Not Disturb and yeah, we are back. Uh, welcome. Welcome to the live stream. Hope everybody's doing well. Let me know if you can hear me and see me and everything is good to go. We're switching up the, you know, the design, the set, if you will, a little bit. Um, still changing. So if you watched a few weeks ago, it's, it's changing. It's changing. It'll probably keep changing. But great to see you guys. We weren't here last week. Uh, if you're new, welcome. My name is Shane, and over here on this channel, we are talking about smart home stuff all the time, and specifically Apple smart home, you know, smart home in the Apple ecosystem. That's what we do, home kit here, and uh, yeah, would love to have you as a part of the channel. And uh, let's, let's say hi to some folks. We, like I said, we missed last week, so it's great to be back. Actually, there was no video last Sunday either, so super excited to get back and uh, bear with me as things are like all in different places than I'm used to because we're changing it up a little bit, but uh, we're getting there. Uh, thank you, says so the studio looks great. Like the new background. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, Silver Hammer Surveillance, what's going on, George? How you doing today? Glad you could make it, Dan is here what's up dan let's see i'm trying to say hi to everybody frederick is here what's going on frederick uh got the popcorn out <laughs> awesome andy miller uh lone star trent uh dina mentioned dina jordan what's going on jordan kevin a lot of members here in the chat awesome oh i forgot to post the uh let's see let me see if i can do that um i always try to do that I'll post a link. A lot to type there. All right. Um, if you want to become a member, if you're not, I will pin that to the top of the chat. And I hope I got that URL right. <laughs> but there's a join button down below. And we have a Discord and everything like that. I see a lot of members here. Thank you guys so much for the support and for being here. Lloyd, hello from Alabama. Uh, greetings from Netherlands, Eric, all the way from the Netherlands. Awesome. Smart home solo is here. Um, oh man, thank you so much for the super chat, Brian. Really appreciate that. Let's hit the super chat button. Uh, yeah, all right, super chat stream deck. I was moving everything around up to the last minute here today. So, uh, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate that, Brian. Uh, really like the new studio background. Thank you guys. I appreciate the feedback because I'm, I'm still like, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Just wait though. If you don't follow me on Instagram, uh, go check me out on Instagram. Uh, I'm at Shane Creates over there. Pretty much everywhere Shane Creates. And I'll be showing some more I've got over here. You can kind of see the Apple. I got my TV over here, Apple TV. I've got some plans with some Nano Leaf. Um, shapes and strips and lines and stuff. That's going to be awesome. Super excited to do that. I might work on that a little bit tomorrow uh, if I can. But yeah, just kind of figuring out what I like in here, trying to make the space um, efficient for videos, but also somewhere I can hang out and enjoy a little bit too. So Let's see, look, we no busted pipes. Oh man, you guys, yeah, how's the weather? We got some cold weather here. It was like 80 degrees last week. And uh, this week, it's cold again. So at least cold for me, I should say. <laughs> A lot of y'all probably are like, oh, uh, Jordan says light the shirt. Thank you. Yeah, um, I'm really not even sure what that means, but I got it from CES. <laughs> and it's my little souvenir from CES. Dark background, dark shirt, <laughs> shiny Shane. Yeah, lights maybe. Uh, too bright. I'll work on it, guys. Bear with me. Bear with me. Studio got a groove vibe going. Literally just installed the Eve thermostat. We'll be playing around with that after this. Oh, nice. Eve Thermo. Awesome. Very cool. That's one of the Eve products that I have not used um, because we just don't have those kinds of radiators, but that's awesome. All the other Eve stuff that I've used has been awesome. Uh, Frederick 134 watching and only 18 likes. Thank you. Yes, please like the stream. I suppose that helps the algorithm or and all that good stuff. Uh, but let's see. Yeah, everything's backwards from where I'm used to. So, all right, 133 watching. Yeah, all right. Uh, everyone liked the video. <laughs> you know what it means. Uh, in the U.S. 
Awesome. Good stuff. So yeah, let's just talk about a few things that I saw. Like I said, we weren't here last week, so we can kind of catch up on some stuff I've seen in the news. If you guys want to ask me any questions, you know, about anything home kit or smart home, feel free to drop those. We'll do some question stuff here in a little bit. And uh, in the meantime, we'll just share some stuff and you guys feel free to comment and let me know what you think. Uh, first thing, I know I've been getting probably so many, com probably more comments on this than anything else that's like yet to come out. And uh, if you guys have not seen it, let me switch my screen over. There we go. Um, uh, Akara tweeted this, what was it, yesterday or something like that. So they're kind of teasing something coming. And I think we all know what this is, you know, 24-7 local recording, launch March 23rd. Everybody keeps asking me, when is the new doorbell camera coming? So that's, you know, it's got to be what that is, um, I would assume. What do you guys think? Are you guys excited about that? I know, again, I'm getting so many questions about the car doorbell, when are we going to see it and all that stuff. So uh, looks like it's coming March 23rd again is that tweet. And then I also saw just today they tweeted. Let's see if I can find it to do 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 <laughs> shut up and take my money. Uh, yeah, right here. So the, we're getting these little like um, little teasers coming from a car. I saw them post this on the Insta Instagram actually first. And uh, this is pretty cool. Voice changing option launching on March 23rd. We got a robot, a, uh, a mustache. I don't know what you think that might be. And a clown. <laughs> uh, what are y'all's thoughts on this? I want the new Akara door lock. Yeah, Larry, I want to try that one out too. I feel you. Uh, well, I kind of got a little taste of it at CES. Uh, really, really uh, good looking lock. So uh, I want the lock too, Lone Star Trent says. I think it's an SD card with the calculator for an iPad on it. Very excited about the doorbell. We'll get it for sure. So you're going to get it without even, you know, seeing uh, what people think of it and everything. That's interesting. Yeah. I, I mean, all the Akara stuff has been great. I highly recommend all the Akara stuff so far uh, that I've used. I want the Akara's new lock. Uh, I'm <laughs> new voice, Akara. I am your father. The clown scares me. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the clowns either. Uh, clowns, clowns scare me a little bit too, Greg. I, I hear you. Uh, what's the light near the plant? Brian says, okay, the light near the plant back there. Uh, that is a vocal link. Let me see. I will pull up. I need to switch, get all my stuff moved around a little bit. I need this over here. All right. Uh, let's see. Screen. Let's go to Amazon. I'll show you which one it is exactly. Uh, floor lamp. And it's not like, let's see, I assume it's on Amazon. Uh, where are you? Did I miss it? Gosh, I wouldn't think it'd be that hard to find. Vocal link floor lamp. I know I've had it, uh, I bought it from Amazon, so. Uh, that's not it. Huh. Can't seem to find it. That's crazy. I didn't even know Vocal Link had a desk lamp. Look at that. All right, let's see. Where is the Vocal Link store? Uh, doo -doo -doo, smart lighting. Huh. Maybe it's not on Amazon anymore. But it is a vocal link floor lamp. It's I assume I've heard it's not as bright as like the Philips Hue version uh, that also supports HomeKit. It, it's not super bright, but I don't know. It's kind of cool in the background. So, anyways, let's see what we got here. Uh, Trying to tapmo. What happened to thread door sensor and motion sensor? A car was planning last year. Yeah. So I that obviously got delayed. I assume. It was probably delayed because, I mean, they have, well, first of all, they've just had so many products and with the big push on Matter, I assume that just kind of um, 
probably didn't take priority. That's just my assumptions because uh, they put so much focus in getting that matter support out and probably these new products as well. But I heard that it is still coming. So it'll probably just be after these other new products are introduced. Frederick says, I'd buy one, love my car stuff. Yeah, Frederick, you got a lot of car cameras too, if I'm not mistaken. Armando says, is there anyone else from Mexico who uses Eve? Everyone in the US loves the brand, but I've had a million problems. Interesting. Um, yeah, I do love the Eve stuff and mostly hear good things about them. Uh, and uh, interesting enough, Eve is from Germany. They're based out of Germany, so they're not even a U.S. brand. So, but they are. Uh, I I do like their stuff. Maybe selling the August lock. Jordan says if the Acara one is better. A car one will have home key, so it does have that. And man, that feature alone, that's a game changer. I love the, the home key lock. It's so good. Let's see. All right. And all right, where were we? We were talking about Acara. And speaking of Acara, I saw this over on, this is another one I get asked about sometimes. Uh, shout out to Simon from HomeKit News. I saw this on his Website earlier, pre-sale launch in China with a March release for the FP2. So for those that don't know, this is a follow-up to, actually, oh, I've got one right over here. It'll reach, it is plugged in. That's a follow-up to this FP1. Let's see if you can see that a little bit better. So this is the original one, and that is the second one coming, the FP2, and it's basically a present sensor, and very excited about this one it definitely takes some things from this one and improves on it a bit and i'm really looking forward to testing this out uh simon's got some good screenshots here on uh on the page showing you kind of what you can lay out room layout options and things like that that's pretty awesome are any of you guys Let's see, switch back. Sorry, I'm so out of whack because all my stuff is backwards from where I'm used to. Any of you guys looking forward to the FP1? And I am so excited to see what kind of automations people create with that. Oh, that does remind me. I'm going to do another automations video. So those of you who are watching, um, we're going to do another automations video. So I did one a few weeks ago showcasing your HomeKit automations. I meant to say this at the beginning. I'll try to remember the next live streams to say this at the beginning, but we'll do another one. So I'll be taking your automations and you can submit those to watleysubmissions at gmail.com. After this live stream, I'll go ahead and put a, um, I'll put a little blurb in the video description uh, at the bottom. So if you're watching the replay of this later on, uh, check the description and I'll have where you can submit your automations and I'll put a link to the last video. You guys, a lot of you really seem to like that and want some more of it, so we'll do it again. And it's super fun to see what everybody else is is doing with your automations and would love to see hear from you guys. Let's see what you guys are saying in the chat. Any inkling of hope that Apple adds 2K resolution support? I don't know. I would, they really should. Eventually, I, I don't know if it'll come in. I was, we'll know soon enough. Uh, WWDC will be here soon in June. So hopefully then we'll know. Let's see, question. And my questions aren't highlighting today. Like sometimes, usually if you type the word question, they'll highlight, but for some reason they're not today. Question: Any creative ways anyone have used switch bots? I've had the po I've had the possibility to replace two previously from dumb wall switches, as I got a car switches and now I don't know what to do with them. Uh, it, well, in that last automation vi video I did, one person uh, um, was Dylan or Dylan. I always say the name wrong. Dylan uh, used switch bots for a remote to trigger his motorized TV to come down. So that kind of stuff was awesome. Hopefully we'll get some more awesome automations like that in the next video that we'll do here in a little while. 
Will I send a showcase of the winter home kit cat deterrent? Oh, uh, the cat deterrent. Yes, uh, sure. You can send send away, and we'll see. We'll we'll try to get as much as we can in that video. Yeah, the cat deterrent. That was a cool one there, where uh, the motion sensors would pick up on animals in the yard and would turn on the sprinklers to deter the cats, especially in the yard. That was really cool. Let's see here. Uh, do you have a rough take on when SwitchBot will be officially supported at HomeKit, not via HomeBridge? Yes, I can say roughly it's going to be soon. So it's starting with that SwitchBot Hub 2. Let me see if I can find. Not sure what all they have like officially online. Um, here we go. So this was, they kind of demo, they previewed this um, at, oh, and they got a sale going on. You asked for it, you got it. We're super excited to announce the introduction of Matter to our devices that will be slowly rolling out over the year. And here's what you need to know about how to add Matter to your SwitchBot Hub 2 and devices going forward. So you can sign up here. Um, I'll drop a link to this in the chat if you guys want to go sign up for that for more information uh talking about matter so basically uh, i thought this was gonna there you go there's the switchbot hub 2 and this will support matter and uh check this out it's showing right here uh, well it says for existing bluetooth only products such as switchbot curtain and switchbot blind tilt you can connect hub 2 to your smart home ecosystem to implement matter over wi-fi in the future, there's no need to buy new ones to use with Matter. So that's really cool. Uh, you will need to get the Hub 2 because this was what you'll need to support Matter. But if you already have like the Curtain or the SwitchBot Blind Tilts, they will pair with this Hub and will then support Matter, meaning you can add them to HomeKit. And it's coming very soon. Uh, doo -doo -doo. We are undergoing testing, trying to make SwitchBot Curtain and SwitchBot Blind Tilt support matter by using SwitchBot Hub 2. There you go. We expect SwitchBot Curtain to be the first to obtain the matter certification in early March with other products to follow after this time. So remember to stay tuned. Well, we are in the middle of March, so that should be coming soon. Uh, let's see. Do you recommend a smoke detector that works with HomeKit? I've got that question a number of times here. There's really not any good ones in the U.S. Uh, there's the first alert ones. I didn't have any luck with those. I actually got a comment on an old video that I did recently saying somebody was telling me they had the same problems that I had like two years ago with the notifications. So I haven't had a lot of luck with those first alert ones. Other than that, there's really nothing in the U.S. that supports HomeKit. One thing I've done is use Z-Wave. You can use a Z-Wave uh, smoke detector. So there are some first alert Z-Wave ones and they pair into HomeKit through a Z-Wave bridge like Hubitat. I don't know if you want to go that route, but you can. Uh, there's just really not a whole lot of options right now for and, and hasn't been for HomeKit in the US. There are some more options in Europe uh, like I think Natatmo has one and Eve actually has one, I believe in Europe. Lone Star Trent, I use Nest Protect and Homebridge for smoke detectors. So yeah, there's definitely some options if you're using Homebridge, uh, but just not with native HomeKit support. There you go. Uh, another Mike says, decided that Nest was the best for him. I have Google displays around and Silver Hammer Surveillance enabled me <laughs> with it, with his videos. Yep, there you go. Could also use the Starling Hub for those Nest products. Thank you, Joshua. That is very true. Uh, yeah, very good point, uh, Lone Star Trent. Home pods are getting an update to listen for smoke detectors, so. Uh, thank you for bringing that up. That is very true. So this reminds me, I actually have, 
it's somewhere back here actually. I, there is a device that, let's see if we can find it. So I use the, uh, let's see, what is their website? Go Abode. I use the Abode products, uh, some of their stuff for like my security system and things like that. And so this is a little hub or whatever. It does support HomeKit and they have, let's see, where would it be? Security right here. This little device right here can pair to the hub. So this is actually something I use and it doesn't even say on here anywhere that it supports HomeKit, I don't think. But when you pair this guy to that hub, if you do use a boat or are thinking about it for your security system, you get one of these. This basically like listens for your smoke detector just like the HomePod will and you can run automations off of that. So it kind of like turns your dumb smoke detectors smart, which is the same thing the HomePods will do very soon. So that's exciting and you will be able to automate, as far as I'm understanding it, you will be able to automate uh, based on smoke being detected. So if the HomePod detects an alarm going off, you will be able to create automations around that, which is pretty cool. That's, you know, those notifications and automations are really the only reason I can think of to have, uh, you know, a HomeKit smoke detector. So this kind of eliminates that need in, in my opinion. Let's see. Love the Starling. George says, yeah, I've heard good things about the Starling. Question, since adding a car FP1 by changing my region to China, it's great. However, if anyone else has done this, have you changed back to actual region? Yeah, it's probably going to be painful. I haven't done that in years. It's been years since I've done that. Uh, I actually used the Acara stuff before they were even sold in the U.S. And so I was using the Chinese server at one point, and then I switched it, and I haven't switched back. You can actually pair the FP1 to to your bridges uh, or in the yeah to your bridges and stuff like that in the Acara app. Uh, you just have to do it manually. So you don't, like I'm using the U.S. servers on mine, and I have the uh, car FP1 also. Will 16.4 natively support custom notifications to your phone? I mean, the intercom function to the HomePod mini is an improvement, but I would like it to my phone, watch or iPad also. Well, uh, probably not so far i don't think so i haven't looked in the last like week or so to see if anything's changed in the betas but yeah last i checked it's just to the home pods i'm pretty sure i don't know i you know i'm not sure if we'll have to see because if you intercom the whole home you know usually you get those intercom messages on your apple watch on all of your apple devices so you might still be able to get the intercom messages uh to like you know, if you intercom to the whole home, but you can't send like custom notifications without using intercom directly to different devices in home automations. You have to have that, do that in a personal automation still. And Lone Star Trent says, no, yeah, at this point it doesn't look like that, but it might, like I said, it might work if you intercom the whole house and you have those intercom messages turned, you know, those notifications turned on on your other Apple devices. Cause I know I get intercom messages on my watch and stuff like that. Let's see, I think we had some other stuff I was gonna share with you guys too. Let's see over here. So this is another one I saw this come out, or it hasn't come out, but I think they're launching soon, supposedly. This is kind of interesting, so I wanna see what you guys thought about it. If you scroll down, I saw here, it will supposedly support Matter. Of course, it'll support HomeKit and everything else because of that. And this is basically a, an outlet with a little light built in. That looks pretty cool. Motion. I don't know. I'm kind of digging this. There's only been, let's see, one, two smart like in-wall outlets that support HomeKit natively that I can think of. And they didn't do all this either. So that's kind of cool. I might have to get one of these. Uh, have you guys seen this? What do y'all think? Would y'all use something like that? 
Mike says, question, can you explain how to pair the a car, a car to another region? Do you need a hub link to that region? Will they show up in HomeKit? Uh, yeah, so it's just in the Akara app, Mike, you go and somewhere in the set, again, I haven't changed it in so long, but it's somewhere in the settings, you just go and you select your, your region and it'll use, you know, that's how you choose which servers, which region you're using. And uh, what was that? Do you need a hub link to that region? Yeah, so I usually recommend using like, that's why I like ordering on Amazon, especially the hubs. The sensors and stuff don't matter so much, but the hubs, I like to order on Amazon. That way you know you're getting uh, the, you know, the appropriate hub for your region and you don't have to worry about switching the servers or anything like that. And then I usually just recommend using the servers for the actual region you're in. But sometimes there are reasons to go outside of that, but uh, you know, it's probably best just to stick with the region that you're in. Uh, I like the outlet Dan says yeah I, I'm digging it Dan I think I'm gonna if that actually launches then I will probably try to get one of those I hope it works well it looks pretty cool I like the little the little flashlight thing and it's got an intruder alert <laughs> I don't know how well that'll deter an, an intruder but I love the nightlight in there that's cool and that means it's got a motion sensor built in pretty cool Can you do a little demo? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Uh, let's see. Do you know of a matter over thread button or controllers? Uh, button or controllers. Still nothing that I can think of that supports matter yet. Let's see. Well, Maybe the Akara button. So let's see. Do, 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 do. If you, for those that don't know, let's go to Akara Mini Switch. So these little buttons here are great. I suppose if you, well, you said thread. So that's not thread. This requires the hub. Okay, so I guess scratch that. <laughs> this uses Zigbee to connect to the hub. And if you're, oh, you guys aren't even seeing that. <laughs> Sorry. If you use this and connect to the M2 hub and upgrade, update your M2 hub to support matter, uh, then you could get this. And this is a button into HomeKit through matter. Good thing matter's making everything less complicated, right? <laughs> uh, but no, I can't think of a thread, a matter over thread button right now what else do we have uh yeah I, I don't think there is another one uh eric is using the one link nate the smoke sensor from one link native and home kit yep so that's the one that i did not have a good experience with a long time ago love to hear your experience it you, you must it must be working well for you i had issues with the notifications I was not getting notifications properly from it, which is kind of a big deal with the smoke detector. And again, that was years ago that I used it, but I have heard similar stories, but I've also heard people who like it. So I don't know. Lone Star Trail would be a good bathroom outlet. Yeah, definitely. Definitely would be. When should we get the first Matter non HomeKit native product? Hmm. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Matter non home kit native so everything that supports matter will support home kit natively so that i don't if i'm i don't know if i'm misunderstanding but i don't think that'll exist if it supports matter it'll support home kit natively if that makes sense uh kevin says i may have answered my own question <laughs> well that's good uh let's see Nano Leap, Sense Plus, our thread matter switches not out yet. Yeah, that, that's true. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see those anytime soon. Uh, I think if we do, it'll probably be probably like at the end of the year. Um, let's see. I'll pull those up for, for those because since, especially since we're talking about switches and buttons and stuff, uh, for those who may not have seen, I did show these off a little bit in my CES video because I got to check these out during CES, but they have them right here on their website. Of course, it says coming soon. 
Uh, but this is it right here. And they, they showed these all, oh, they don't have much as far as buttons go, but they actually have a wireless version and a wired version. It looks like they're kind of changing the design some. That actually looks a little different, I think, than the one I saw at CES. I remember one had like a little scroll wheel in it. But yeah, those will probably be thread and will support matter too because Nanoleaf is, is pretty big on that. Uh, I had the same problem with the notifications with one link, so what's the point? Very just, oh wow, okay. I didn't realize you had the same issues with that smoke detector, George. Yeah, definitely an issue with your smoke detector if you know they're supposed to be smart and you can't get the notifications. I think printer means right now it doesn't support home kit. Oh, okay. Okay. Thanks, Dan. I appreciate you. Uh, yeah. So something that doesn't support home kit, but with matter will support home kit. That would be definitely the switch bot stuff that we talked about. That's the first that comes to mind. Uh, Govi is another one that I've kind of, I've been watching Govi for a while and I've actually started testing out some of their stuff. Uh, because I don't know, there's just not options for certain things that Govi offers. Anyways, Govi has got a light strip coming that'll support Matter. Of course, it's just a light switch, uh, light strip. But if they bring Matter to their other products, then Govi would be another one. Uh, and I'm sure there's a number of other things, probably kind of like that little light switch we were just watching or looking at, because you know, now these companies can just shoot for matter certification which is nice you know if they get matter certification then it'll support all those platforms instead of think about it from like a developer standpoint instead of having to develop your apps and you know your software and everything for HomeKit and for alexa and for google home all they really need to do now is develop for matter so it should make these company it should make it easier for these companies in the long run so uh, I'm trying to think of any others that I've, I'm, I'm sure there's more, but those are kind of the two that I'm thinking of off the bat. Uh, Philips cheap bulbs that don't have home kit. Yep, that's a good one. There are some Philips, uh, some of the cheaper Philips, not the Philips Hue, but the other Philips stuff that you'll be able to get into home kit. That's a good one. Uh, does HomePod have, will get cry baby detection? Uh, I'm not sure what crybaby detection is. Uh, what's the cheapest home kit way to get automated curtains? Can be through Hubitat or other hubs. Cheapest way? Uh, oh, we got a, real quick, we got a super chat. Thank you so much for the super chat. Much appreciate us at the super chat. Super Man, chat. I appreciate that. Uh, where was I? The question was, cheapest way to get... So there's a few options if you have curtains. I mean, I like, honestly, I would probably look at, oops, I just hit my camera. I would probably look at SwitchBot. They're, the Acara ones are really nice. I did a video comparing three different versions. I would check out that video if, if, you, if you have time uh, because we looked at SwitchBot which doesn't support HomeKit natively right now, but obviously through that hub soon they will. We looked at the Acara ones, and then we also looked at one from Zimmy Smart. And Zimmy Smart is probably the most affordable option, but it wasn't really the best in my opinion. So I don't know. I really like the SwitchBot and Acara ones. I like both of those for different reasons. I'd probably pick those two. Have you done anything with Node MCU cards and LED, oops, and LEDs? More of a hobbyist lighting thing, but looks to be cheaper than buying lights prepackaged by Nanoleaf or Vocalink. I have not looked at this, Nathan. I mean, I've looked into, I've looked at, um, seen some videos and stuff like that. Uh, some really cool stuff. I've seen some really awesome projects people have done on YouTube and everything, but I haven't done anything myself or looked too deeply into it. Maybe one day we'll get into some some crazy stuff like that but not yet. Uh, WinX bulbs. Yeah, those are the cheap. Those are some of the cheap ones. I think there's some other ones too, but yeah, you compare those to the Philips Hue bridge 
and those can get into HomeKit now through Matter uh, if you have Matter if you have your hub updated to Matter. And let's see, let's see. So we talked about that. Oh, and another one I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, and I was trying to find earlier there. There's another website, and I couldn't find it right before the stream because I was kind of running out of time. But uh, here's another one. This is over on Indiegogo. Uh, but the Light Cube. So I let's see. We talked about these a little bit also in my CES video. So it is really cool to see. A lot of these products that were just announced at CES, what, in January? So it was like two months ago. Um, and these products are already hitting the market. Like, it's at a pretty good rate, I feel like, this year. But this was one of the ones that looked really cool. I don't know if you guys noticed that video. These little cubes, they're like modular cubes. Uh, spoiler alert, I got some, been testing them. We'll be talking about them soon on the channel. Uh, but you can sign up to get early bird specials here. And uh, this is just another one I wanted to bring up because they do look, they're a lot of fun and they support matter. Uh, yeah, so you can see right here, these do support matter. So actually the first matter lighting product that I have used, I believe, first native matter product that I've used. David says, have you tried any IR RF blasters that work in HomeKit? So as far as I know, there still aren't any native, excuse me, HomeKit IR blasters. The only way to do it is to use something like HomeBridge. As far as I know, maybe one of those other bridges like Hoobs might, get, might be able to help. And if Siri shortcuts is okay, then there are definitely some options for Siri shortcuts, like uh, the SwitchBot hubs actually will support Siri shortcuts and they can act as an IR blaster. Also the, what's the other one? Oh, the Akara, the, some of the Akara hubs. So the Akara, let's see, the Akara G3 is an IR blaster, which is the little pan and tilt camera and also the Akara M2, and that M2 just updated to support matter, but the IR blaster function, that won't support HomeKit uh, or matter, I don't think right now. Email address for submissions. Brian, it is Watley, my last name, submissions, with an S, at gmail.com. Again, after this stream, I will update the video description down there below with all the details um, on like where to send it, what to send, all that good stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's watleysubmissions at gmail.com. Dina, oh, thank you for the super chat, Dina. Love your channel. Didn't think I would, but I do. Well, thank you. I'm curious as to why you didn't think you would, but I'm glad that you do nonetheless. And thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, much appreciated, and I appreciate the support. Let's see. Super chat. Much. I love that. Didn't think I would, uh, but glad you do. Let's see. Thank you for letting me know. Lots of questions rolling in. I think we should, I think you, what do you think will should be the next big thing for the smart home now that matter is a thing? Hmm. I don't, I don't really know how to answer that. I, I think really matter is just the next big thing itself. Matter is probably the biggest change in like the whole smart home landscape since I've been piddling around with smart home stuff. So, um, oh, there it goes. Yeah, so I think uh, definitely just matter itself and as a HomeKit user, the ability to add new products into HomeKit, new product categories that we'll see coming soon, that's gonna be pretty big for us HomeKit users, of course. But yeah, I just, I, I just really, if you've been following kind of my journey on Instagram and even on YouTube, testing out all this matter stuff, it's been real rocky at best. Uh, for a lot of the stuff, but I'm excited to see it smooth out and just the interoperability, like I'm seeing it now and some products are actually really good with Matter uh, that I've been tested rec recently. So I'm just really excited to see the inter that real interoperability 
uh, where you can just pair stuff with any platform. That's really exciting. And I think that's just, that's it's in it of itself is, uh, is, is huge. Question, I have in a car a vibration sensor set up correctly in my mailbox, so it sounds a push notification when I have mail. How do I incorporate that into HomeKit? I mean, you can't send, obviously, a, you might be able to turn on notifications for, because that see, HomeKit sees it as a, um, HomeKit sees that as a motion sensor. I think you can turn on notifications for motion sensors. I'd have to double check uh, if you can do that. Just, yeah, you can, actually, I know you can. So you could just set up a notification to say, it'll say, you know, your mailbox has detected motion. Uh, but if you're, if it's paired to your car hub and your car hub is, you know, into HomeKit, then it should be in HomeKit and you should be able to do that with no problem. I just got the firmware for the Akar M2 Hub for Matter. Is it a bad idea to update it? Will it break anything? I'm glad you asked that. You should definitely go watch the last video that I made, Jason, on uh, on Matter. It was probably, I don't know, three, maybe four weeks ago. And uh, just watch my journey. I did test out the Akara M2 Hub and I also tested out some of the Eve stuff, both of which I'm a huge fan of. I love the Akara stuff, I love the Eve stuff. Neither one of them worked well uh, once I updated my stuff to Matter. So that was my experience, and maybe things are, are smoothing out a little bit since then. I honestly got frustrated enough. I unplugged my Akara M2 hub that I was doing all the testing with um, after I made that video. Uh, because I was just tired of dealing with with matter and, and these are products that have worked flawlessly for me in HomeKit, and especially the car m2 hub which I believe supports Alexa and Google assistant I really don't see a need to update it to matter if it was me unless there's a really good need that I that I don't realize uh, right now I probably wouldn't for that one uh, that's my opinion I would wait let it get better see what other people are doing, you know, uh, but again, I, I went through, uh, I went through all <laughs> my frustrations in, in a recent video. Uh, questions for any automations, washing machines, cycle finishing, was thinking Eve Energy to monitor power usage, but not sure if it can support the wattage. Yeah, those are tricky washing machines because they kind of start and stop and stuff throughout. So motion or vibration is tough. Yeah, probably using something like a, um, something like that can monitor the power draw from that outlet is probably your best bet. Question, any way to expose sensors from Eve or Abode or a Cara want a DIY security solution, but have already invested heavily in Eve. No, unfortunately, and that's kind of a limitation, I think, of HomeKit. Um, at, you really can't, like, I guess you're wanting to, like, trigger the s security system or something. You really can't, and it's just because of HomeKit. So I would look at what I did, because I kind of was in the same boat a while back, and I did end up going with a Bode. Uh, I actually did a Cara for a while, and I've got Eve sensors, and then I wanted to go with a Bode at one point. So what I did is I just changed out the main sensors for my, uh, like the main entry points to my house, you know, front door, back door, whatever, stuff like that. I made those a Bode sensors and just used the sensors that were already there, whether they were Eve or a Cara, I don't really remember. I just removed those and put those on other doors like closets and stuff. So maybe you can do something like that. And I only use abode sensors on those main doors just for my security system, really. So, but yeah, unfortunately, there's not a way to, to do what you're asking there. Uh, any word on the Akara doorbell release? Forgive me if it was asked already. Yes, you are late. We did talk about it uh, already. <laughs> And I will go back to this tweet here. So there's a couple of tweets from Akara. This right here, voice changing, launching March 23rd. That tells you pretty much what you need to know. This was the big one here, posted a day or two from Akara. 
24-7 local recording launching March 23rd. We all pretty much assume that's the doorbell. So, cause we know there is a spot for micro SD card on that doorbell. So that should answer your question there. We are all pretty excited about the release of that. Let's see. We do a video on a smart home humidifier. It could be a cool contest. Not many people think of running a humidifier. I actually have one. Uh, just look, do a search on my channel. There is the, let's see, the Vocolink Mist Flow is the one. I'll pull it up here on, I don't know, last time I looked for a Vocolink product, I had a little bit of trouble. Yep, it's here. <laughs> I got it. So here's the vocal link misflow. I did a video on this thing on my channel. That's the only like actual humidifier. I also did a video on, let's see, gosh, one of my first videos was the vocal link flower bud, which is more of like an oil diffuser. And I also did one on the Maris one, but there is a video on that on the channel you can check out. Actually, one of my favorite B-roll sequences probably uh, that I did for for that video there because all the smoke and the lights and stuff it was fun fun to shoot Quinny, any idea if intercom will be a nope not as far as i know i wish apple would tell me something but i know about as as much as you guys we did that video what two weeks ago and uh as far as i know i haven't heard or seen anything else in the betas so i don't think so Hopefully Apple's listening and we'll, maybe it'll come with the official release of 16, um, four. Next big thing is Apple laying, oh man, wouldn't that be great? Oh man, thank you for the other super chat. Uh, another super chat, let's hit the button again. Thank super you so much chat. for that. Eco, echo, oh man, I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Eve or Akara motion sensors, what about smart plug? Well, yes, <laughs> I love them both. I would say if you don't have a hub, maybe go with the Eve motion sensor. If you do have the Akara hub, or if you're thinking about getting an Akara hub, go with the Akara ones. I love them both, I use them both. Uh, the Akara ones are significantly cheaper. Well, I shouldn't say significantly. They're a good bit cheaper though, especially depending on which one you get. But so if you already have an Akara hub, you can get the Akara motion sensors for you know cheaper price. But if you don't want to deal with all that, the Eve ones are great. They work over thread, no hub needed. And smart plug, Eve Energy all day. Um, it's, it's a great one. Remington Howell, hey, from North Carolina. Welcome, awesome, from North Carolina. Having a wonderful birthday. And where is the best way to connect a PlayStation to a Apple HomeKit or HomePod? Well, happy birthday, first of all. And um, awesome, Na a neighbor from North Carolina, not too far from here. So, you know, I do not know the answer. I'd have to do some Googling and probably searching on Reddit for this, but I assume... If there's a way, Homebridge is gonna be the way, if there's a good plugin for Homebridge. So if you're not familiar with Homebridge, check that out. That's a way to get, um, you know, non-HomeKit stuff into, um, into HomeKit. I know people have done it with Xbox, I've heard of. I'm not sure if anybody's done it with a PlayStation. So this is Homebridge. You can check this out if you're not familiar and just kind of look up some of the things you can do with Homebridge. But has anybody, let us know in the chat, has anybody um, got their PlayStation into HomeKit? And it looks like they have Go Corey. Thank you, Corey. Corey says PS5 has a Homebridge plugin. Awesome. Thank you, Corey. Uh, doo -doo -doo, let's see, anybody else? I'm in North Carolina, Lone Star Trent, also in North Carolina. Nice, Carolinas are representing here today, I love it. <laughs> uh, Homebridge PlayStation, John still says, hey John, what's going on? Very cool, so yeah, looks like you can do that. I figured Homebridge is probably the answer there. Homebridge is usually the answer when you don't know where else to go, 
look at Homebridge for that kind of stuff. Uh, Daniel says, oh, a very cool question. If you could start over, what would you do different? So I, I think if I could start over, uh, let me answer this correctly. You know, I don't know that I would do a whole lot different. And I say that probably because I really, I knew what, well, maybe when I very first started. So like the first thing I did was went out and bought like a Philips Hue starter pack, changed out all the lights in my dining room chandelier. And then immediately my wife and kids started turning on the, turned off the switch and ruined all my automations, <laughs> as many probably do when they first start. So I would say, starting over, I would just change out the light switches and not the bulbs from the get-go instead of having to go through that headache. Uh, but other than that, you know, I really just did a lot of research once I decided I wanted to do this, and that's actually why I started this channel because there wasn't a whole lot of channels or information at the time specifically for HomeKit, um, interestingly enough. So yeah, a few years back, was that probably 2018 or so, 2019 is when I really wanted to, uh, to, to do this. And I started the channel kind of just documenting my process. Uh, but I did a lot of research and I, I don't think I would do any. Another thing I would recommend is start with a good Wi-Fi router or network that's something else that that's probably the one thing that I would do also differently is uh, I was still using my internets uh, or my ISPs, you know, modem router combo for a while. I started adding like smart home products here and there, just a few things, garage door opener, this and that, some light bulbs. Uh, and then I, you know, realized, okay, I need to change out my router. I need to get a good router, a more solid Wi-Fi network and better coverage throughout the house. And it's just a huge pain, uh, or it can be a huge pain to, you know, switch routers and change your network and stuff when you're starting out and you already have some devices uh, paired. So, you know, first thing before you even jump in is get a good router. That's probably what I would do differently. Um, I don't know. What about you guys? Anybody else have any uh, suggestions on things they would do differently if they were starting over? Uh, question, should I use a backup smart home app like Google Home? Uh, I don't know really what you mean there. That's just a whole nother platform. So if you use Google, then use Google. But that's, I mean, you know, you can, if you like using Google, you can, you know, you can get products that support HomeKit and Google. That's probably not a terrible idea. Have you discovered that Hubitat virtual switches are quite powerful and up-level automations to be more dependable? Uh, well, I love, I mean, I've been using virtual switches for a long time, so I'm not sure if you just mean virtual switches in general. I've been using them through Homebridge and stuff for a long time. But yeah, virtual switches are awesome. They are like definitely a game changer. They come in handy so much when you just need to, like sometimes I'll have an idea and it's just, can't figure out how to do something and then boom virtual switch is the answer for my automation so definitely love excuse me those virtual switches whether it's Hubitat or Homebridge or whatever you're using um, Shane's wanted Shane's opinion on a home kit router I personally I think I guess I'll leave that comment up personally I think uh, I'm a fan of really any reputable brand router for most homes, most average people, a, a mesh Wi-Fi system by reputable brands. So Eero is a very popular one. I have been using the Netgear Orbi for a while and I like that one. Linksys, the Linksys Velop is another one. That's really good. I used that one for quite a while. That's a really good one. Uh, so like any of those, again, reputable brands, uh, just kind of do your research, get a mesh system, enough to cover your house, as long as you can get good speeds for your average person, that's the route I would go. If you're a little bit more on the advanced side and don't mind kind of tinkering with the settings and things like that more, probably want to look at something like Ubiquity or the Unifier. Uh, routers, Dream Machine, and stuff like that. 
but that's probably gonna be a little bit more advanced. I might get into that one day. I know there's a lot of people that love those, but that's kind of next level. For your average person, Eero, Netgear Orbi. Again, Netgear Orbi is what I've been using for, let's see, all of this year, for probably a good six months or so, maybe longer now. And Linksys Velop are the ones that I would probably recommend. TP-Link also has some good routers, but I haven't used them personally. Uh, why did you change from the Linksys to the Orbi? Good question, because Netgear Orbi sent me one to test out <laughs> and I just couldn't resist. So uh, yeah, I was perfectly happy with the Linksys, uh, the Linksys Velop. I had the Velop MX-10, I believe. And the, yeah, they sent me, Netgear Orbi got in touch with me and you know they just wanted to send me one out to test so I could test it out, share it on the channel and stuff like that. And so I, I tried it out because mainly because it was the first, it was the six, it was a Netgear Orbi 6E router, and I hadn't tried one, you know, a 6E router, and I was just kind of curious too to see if I would notice any improvements or how well it worked. And it's just good from like a tester um, experience to be able to try different things, you know, so I can give my recommendations and stuff like that too. But yeah, both of them are, are good. Uh, let's see, which one do you prefer, Linksys or Orbi and why? <laughs> I, I like them both. Uh, I, yeah, I, I like them both. They both w work well for me. Um, I love my Asus. Oh, Asus is another one. Thank you, uh, Nathan. However, the satellite mesh nodes are trash. Oh, okay, I've had two of the three units brick in the last month. Oh, wow. Yeah, I would have guessed Asus would, would have some good ones out there, but oh, that's not good. Uh, let's see. Kevin says, starting over, definitely your Wi-Fi network. I initially didn't realize that was why things didn't behave how I expected. Yeah, that's another great point, too, right there. You know, you can be having all these issues and blame HomeKit or the products, and so many times it's your Wi-Fi. Uh, and, and sometimes it's even just settings in your Wi-Fi. So that's a great point, Kevin. Uh, Tesla, said, Tesla Cowboy says, I prefer buying anything that supports HomeKit. Then it works with everything else. Well, not always. I mean, like Eve stuff only supports HomeKit, you know, until Matter comes along. But, but yeah, that's another good point. You know, picking your and again, I did my research. I knew when I started, I wanted to go all in with HomeKit and Apple Home, uh, HomeKit, of course, at the time. And so I didn't really mess around with any of the other stuff. But yeah, if you choose, you know, if you're going with HomeKit, buy products that support HomeKit natively when possible. That's a good one too. Shane, uh, will you be trying Homey? As I heard, the new Pro looks cool. Simple way to home, simple way to home assistant without hassle. Yeah, I, so I saw a little demo. Uh, got to talk with the guys from Homey when I was at CES, and I was really excited after speaking with them. So I do definitely hope to give it a try. Uh, yeah, I'm excited about it. It looks like a, a good one. Matter support sports uh, Zig, has a Zigbee. Uh, radio so you can connect or sorry yeah Zig, I think it's Zigbee but also Z-Wave is what I meant to say so you can get your Z-Wave products into HomeKit uh, I'm excited about that one John Sills says like you said router Lutron Philips Hue Maris garage door opener that's a good one I devices smart outlets because they look like a Norma outlet smart sprinkler bridge and so on for things you would do if you were starting any recommendations on light bars or strips for HomeKit compatibility right out of the box? Um, light bars or strips. So, of course, Philips Hue is always going to be a good option. They work well for most people. They're expensive, require the bridge. Nanoleaf is a good one. I mean, there's so many light strips out there. Uh, Nanoleaf should have their... If you want a light strip, you might want to wait because Nanoleaf should have some uh, that support matter soon, if you care about matter, I guess. But matter, uh, sorry, Nanoleaf should have some, and uh, Govi has their uh, matter light strip coming out. Let's see, who else? I'm not sure if there's any others coming out, but those both should be coming, I think, pretty soon. 
but yeah, or just get if you just want home kit, the the Nano Leaf light strips are great. Uh, Philips Hue, gosh, the, I actually like the Onvis light strips for light bars. I don't know so much about light bars. Again, Philips Hue is probably going to be the go-to right there for home kit, native home kit support. Someone needs to reinvent the smart blinds. Let me use my existing smart blinds. Oh man, I've done a video on that in the past. Uh, you can use your existing blinds. In fact, I'm probably going to do a new video on the SwitchBot blind tilt, it's called. Uh, do I still have the tab open? No, I closed, closed it. So SwitchBot blind tilt should support, as we looked earlier on their website, should support Matter at some point. Those allow you to automate your existing blinds. There's a couple other options out there for something like that. Uh, like I said, I've done one or two videos on that in the past. What would you recommend for a good smart outlet? I've seen a lot of smart plugs, but would like to use outlets over plugs. Also prefer thread. Well, we just looked at that one earlier, um, which looks freaking awesome. If this comes out, this thing right here, this isn't released yet, but um, I'll drop a link to this in the chat in case you guys want to like sign up for that little email list or whatever. But I don't know. This looks awesome. I don't know if it's going to come out or when it's going to come out. I wouldn't mind trying this out. But the only ones other than this that I know of are, let's see, um, iDevices. This is the one John was um, talking about, and I know I can't spell. And I don't even know, do they still sell this? Because I don't really know what's been going on with iDevices. I haven't seen much from iDevices in a while. Yeah, that's it right there. So this is the one John was talking about. Here, I'll put a link. Uh, so this is an affiliate link. So I'll put some links in here. These are affiliate links again. Uh, iDevices. And then the other one, I have not used this one. So I can't speak on this personally. The one that I have used is the Connect Sense. And they have, let's see, where are you? Connect Sense in wall. And they have a 15 amp and they have a 20 amp version also. Um, here, I'll put a link to this one also in case you want to check this out. I actually made a video on this a while ago. It's been at least a year. Uh, I can't spill it today. So yeah, this is again, another affiliate link, but yeah, I have used, I tried that one and made a video on that one a, a while ago. When are USB-C outlets coming? Yeah, I know, right? Uh, let's see. Watching from HomeKit because Hey, watching from Ghana, HomeKit, because of your channel. Thank you. Wanted to know the disadvantages if I keep buying hubs from China and using the China servers, especially with Acara. Um, I don't know any. Uh, well, thank you for the support and thank you for watching. First of all, I appreciate that. I would say I don't really think there's any disadvantages necessarily unless you just are worried about privacy. So some people are worried about privacy, especially when it comes to like, Chinese products or China servers. Uh, so if that's an issue, that's just kind of a personal preference. That's probably something you have to decide right there. But other than that, there's you know really no issues uh, in using different servers if you have to. I don't know if there's any other servers you can use for where you're located. Uh, but that's, uh, yeah, I mean, I use the Chinese servers, like I said, years. It's been years, but at one point I did that. So... The new TP-Link, oh, the new TP-Link plug does matter now. Yeah, um, I haven't tried that one out. But I did see the TP-Link plug that supports matter. This guy right here. So it's cool. I don't have, let's see, I was thinking I might have one over here, but I don't. I've tried a few. Of, I did try also the Maris um, Maris also has one that's out now. 
do, 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 do. Well, I thought it was out. Have I missed it? Maybe it's only available on their website. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see it. I made a little Instagram short about that one. I've been using that one too. I'm not sure where I put it. <laughs> I've got so many smart plugs laying around right now from all this testing. Um, is there a website that has all upcoming Matter products? Um, not that I know of. Not that I know of. Akara, how's the light strip come out? When, or maybe when's the, when's the light strip come out? I don't know on this one. So um, I talk to the people at Akara every now and then. And I, last I heard, I don't think there was an official date on that one yet. So I assume that the light strip will be after uh, these next, like the doorbell, probably the lock too but I don't know for sure. That's just kind of what I'm guessing. But yeah, I don't think there's been a date announced for that one. Someone else needs to come out with a smart doorbell that works with HomeKit and Alex or Alexa. Well, March 23rd, I think, right? That's what they said, uh, coming soon. So stay tuned, Akara. Uh, pay attention to that one. and. Um, stay tuned, subscribe to the channel. I guess on that note, we'll kind of wrap this up. I should say on that note, subscribe to the channel because there just might be a video coming out, uh, when that drops. So check it out. New home kit videos every Sunday. Also at the, in the description after this stream, I'll put, um, where you can submit your automation so we can do another one of those. Uh, viewer automations where we can showcase and share your smart home, your home kit automations, which is always a whole lot of fun. Uh, love seeing what you guys are doing. And yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Uh, it's been great chilling with you, talking about home kit, nerd at, nerding out about all the smart home stuff. We missed last week, so uh, it was great to be back. We'll be back every Wednesday for live streams. And again, new videos every Sunday. Thanks so much again for joining me and we'll see you guys next time. Hope you, ha hope you have a great rest of your day. See you later.